We're back. We're back from Mordor. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. true. We did. We went to Mordor. We saw baby geese and found a baseball. The baby geese are real cute. Oh, what are we doing today? What are we doing today? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're back, subjectivists. We're going to be throwing another Pokemon video at you. There is a trend going on on social media right now uh, amongst artists where they redesign Gen 1 Pokemon as if they were designed in 2018 or in Gen 7. Um, and this is a really interesting challenge because I think anyone who is very familiar with Pokemon can tell right away, you know, the difference in design styles between Gen 1 and Gen 7. Um, and it's an interesting thing to think about, you know, just the way Pokemon, no pun intended, has evolved over the years. So I couldn't think of a better word for it. I swear there wasn't a pun intended there. But seriously, um, thinking about, you know, something like Charizard, um, next to Komoo, um, like, and, and how different those Pokemon are. This isn't like a fixes video. We're not saying that any of the Pokemon we're picking have poor designs and we're trying to change them to make them look better, but we're going to change them um, just to make them look like they were designed uh, in the later generations. Not to mention, it, it came out on the original Game Boy. Right. It only had so many pixels to work with and translate a design. I'm also convinced that I... I I could be wrong here, but I think that a couple of Pokemon in Gen 1 are kind of filler, as in they wanted to hit that 150 mark because they wanted to make it this like collectible game. So it seems like some Pokemon might have been thought out less than others. Um, Jane's Pokemon that you picked actually, I believe, is one of those Pokemon <laughs> yeah. um, that didn't get as much attention as say like Charizard or uh, or Mewtwo or one of the more iconic Pokemon Yeah, from you Gen probably 1. wouldn't see this on the side of a mac and cheese box. Uh, I do not think <laughs> you... Actually, honestly, you might. Actually, it might. Let me check. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I'll just spoil it. I doubt Dugong the, is on the f***ing mac and cheese box. The thing about Gen 1 that I feel like is already different is that Gen 1 has like a lot of motifs. Like, I feel like the other generations, like, there's a lot... It's not that there's a lot more variety, but like not 20 or 30 out of the Pokemon <laughs> in the gen have like cat ears yeah. and angry yeah. eyes. There are definitely a lot of- And claws. And the claws. And, yeah, the or, or they're all one color. All of the, like I think one of the most easiest ways to distinguish between a gen one and gen seven is color schemes in gen seven have a ton more, like four, five, six colors in them. Whereas gen one, they at most they have two colors, not including black and white. Um, and that's because the Game Boy didn't have any colors. So there was no point of making them like crazy colors and stuff. It's also interesting just to think about how designs overall have... I mean, it's been 20 years between yeah. Gen 1 and, and Gen 7, which is crazy. Characters overall in video games have changed. And, like, think about it. At the time the Pokemon was coming out, you know, Dragon Ball was really popular. I think there's a reason why a lot of the Pokemon have those, like, angry eyes and, like, they're kind of muscular and they have, like, human hands and they're grabbing stuff. And, like, I think there's a reason that they look the way they do. There's a lot to be said for the time these things were made. Honestly, if you look at, like, Dragon Ball Z from the 90s, and then, like, My Hero Academia, which I, I'm willing to say is, like, one of the most popular animes right now. Mm, yeah, sure. Um, like, those two, like, everything's, like, softer in My Hero Everything is, like, like rounder. Um, you can even see that in the Pokemon anime. Like, yeah. It used to be very... Um, angular. Yeah, sharp, angular, uh, scratchy looking. A lot um, of... Scratchy for sure. Everyone's scratchy. hair was... Ch -ch 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 -ch. Yeah, really pokey, but now it's very soft and cute and round and feel good. Even that has something to do with the technology of the game consoles because, like, you couldn't... It was really hard to get a round surface. Yeah. Uh, you know, when you're working with pixel art. Um, so we're going to pick... Uh, some Pokemon. We'll probably split this video up into two parts. Um, so who wants to go first? Um, I could go first. So uh, the Pokemon that I want to update um, is Firo because I feel like it's very forgettable from Gen 1. I mean, it definitely um, evolved into Ho-Oh. I also think it, yeah, <laughs> I feel like they kind of did what they thought they did wrong in Gen 2 and they designed Ho-Oh. Um, it's very pointy. It feels like they just uh, needed another bird. I don't know. It has a lot of that, like, Gen 1 quality of just having, like, sharp things, claws, pointiness. Angry eyes. Angry eyes. Those Gen 1 eyes are very iconic. So I think to update Firo, you really just need to make it more round, uh, change the proportion. A lot of what the modern generations have is thin limbs, for one but also more variation in proportion. So I want to take away some of the angularness, keep the like 
long beak, maybe give it some cheeks. Uh, Fero is very angular, and the reason it's angular is so it could crane its neck in that limited space for the sprite, because there's no other way to show longness or any yeah. weird anatomy in that limited technology. But something the newer generations have is the capability to do more. Yeah. I definitely think, yeah, just incorporating more personality and another color into the palette. Yeah, yeah I want to bring that pinkness back in, because Pokemon now, they just aren't usually this boring. Uh, another thing is, like, drawing more inspiration from a specific animal instead of just, like, it's a bird. Yeah. You know, like, Toucan obviously is a toucan, so, like... And, and, then, and that's why it's still cute, even though it's, like, a pretty straightforward design. But it's like, toucans are really cool. Like, why wouldn't you make a toucan Pokemon? It's pretty much a Pokemon already. And this beak opens up and there's a gun inside. And there's a gun inside. <laughs> that's what they should have done. I, uh, you know what? I'll go next. So I picked, um, Hypno, um, which is a very strange Pokemon. It's um, like Faba. Fa yeah, Faba like has. Hypno is epic. Faba has Hypno. Um, I, I have a weird affinity for Hypno. Um, I really like it shiny. It's shiny is, like, my favorite color. It's just one of those Gen 1 Pokemon that's so ambiguous in its design, like, it's not really clearly anything. Like, I was trying to think of, like, with Toucan and, like, what the closest thing in Gen 7 that's already designed would be to Hypno. And the only thing I could think of was Oranguru. Uh, it's a psychic type, but I, it's got a lot of the same energy as Hypno, where it's, like, quiet but menacing. Um, I, definitely Oranguru seems less hostile in its design. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's also kind of got this, like, cape, and Hypno has this kind of half-assed fur collar. Those ears could be less clearly ears, but in terms of, like, its whole body, I'm imagining that it, it's, like, like Claire was saying, like, its proportions would be exaggerated a lot more. Um, like, have much longer arms and a longer body and kind of shorter legs. Um, and I think that I would change that fur collar into more of, like, a cape. Kind of like how Oranguru has this, like, grassy, like, mossy cape. On that, because is it important to the design that it, it well, has here's, these vaguely Here's fox the ears? thing about the ears that I know is what they were doing. It was just, like, they needed something to go on the head, and they were like, ears. How does Gen 7 handle ears? Well, most Pokemon, it's usually like, if reserved I'm, for the more animal ones. Yeah, right? like I'm looking at Oranguru and Pessimian right now, and like they, the concept the provides something on. for the head instead of just needing it to have ears. Like honestly, I think that that nose would maybe be a little longer. Honestly. Yeah. I feel like things are just more exaggerated. Yeah. Just they'd be like, oh, he has a dangly, and they're like, oh, like this, and someone's like, well, actually, how about this, and they draw it, and it goes down to his feet. Um, yeah, you can you can do yours. Um, do I? Gong, so with Dugong, I guess I'm just trying to think more, like, it, it, it appears to me that um, in the later generations, they definitely take biology of animals, like, yeah. the physical qualities of animals more seriously than they were in the first generation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, in the first generation, it seems like they would just add on, like, horns. random yeah, <laughs> horns or ears. Yeah, it's got a horn on its and head it for some horn. reason. And looking at the new Pokemon, like, they don't do that. They don't just throw on random physical traits. So I'm thinking of changing Dugong's colors just a little bit, keeping the primary white, but definitely adding more of like, either like a light blue or a gray or something to indicate mm -hmm. like, I don't know, spot. seals have spots, I guess. Yeah, um, yeah, you could, um, something they do a lot in the newer generations, as you said, it's not just like a bird anymore, it's a very, it's like, it's a specific type of bird. Yeah, it's, it's like, a toucan now. Yeah, um... So that, you could definitely narrow down on, like... Could just be a dugong? Like, more the actual yeah, animal? Yeah, you know, like, have that, that puppy face? Yes. I think the eyes, too, are something I would change about. Should um, just be... Dugong. That's definitely not something they do anymore, like... They would mm -hmm. never do that. That, that is yeah. such a 90s-looking... Yeah. Eye. So they have the right. walrus, and then they have the sea lion mermaid. So let's just give it that like dog face. Go do yeah, I think I think it just needs to keep its role of kind of dopey, cute looking yeah. seal. With, you know, yeah. maybe a little more. I don't know. A yeah, little more weight to it. A little more. A little more mm -hmm. heart. Yeah, I definitely think the colors, just in terms of like. Like in Gen 7, they do a lot of layering. Mm -hmm. Definitely oh. think you're onto something, Jane, in terms of anatomy, because Dugong is always frustrating me, has these like very flowy fins. And yeah, like, it... that's a fish thing. Like, seals' fins are arms, and they right, have muscle, right. and they have claws, and like, 
I, I think and that's why I like Walrein and Primarina in that line like so much better. Yeah, even in Primarina, like she has gigantic hands. Yeah, she has like these mm-hmm. big meaty fins. She can hold herself up with these. Like yeah. Dugong could not do that. Dugong. No, I don't. Is like really like a sausage with like tissues on it. The yeah. obvious choice when making an ice type is to put like an ice crystal on it. But I like the. I mean, obviously Walrein has a very icy color scheme. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But instead of it looking like it emits cold, it looks like it lives in the cold. It like does, it's very yeah. blubbery and thick and it's got that big fur collar. That little horn on the top of the original artwork is so Gen 1. Just play up the anatomy side of it more, like see the the muscles inside of it. But you want to be able to think about how what bends. Yeah, what's how the model would stand. Like how right. the model would I, okay, I feel like that's a good place to leave Dugong. I feel like we've addressed everything that really dates Dugong. Yeah. All right, yeah, so these are our um, Redesigns. This is a very interesting challenge. Um, I think another thing that we haven't touched on um, that's also important uh, in redesigning these Pokemon is just the way that they're rendered because there is a big mm-hmm. leap. Yeah. Especially if you look at the original Gen 1 art where it was like watercolor painted and very use of white highlights um, and everything was kind of had these um, like bleeding lines uh, in, the, in the paint strokes um, compared to now where it's done digitally and the shadows and the highlights are these clean blocks. I think that'll be a big part of it too. Um, it's just the way the, the, the values are rendered. Okay, so those are our designs. If you if you like like drawing and stuff and you have a lot, a lot of knowledge of Pokemon, I recommend doing this um, because it, it really makes you think about design changes from a franchise that's been around for as long as Pokemon um, and what the creators do to keep things fresh and keep people interested. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to tell a friend, like, comment, and subscribe, and... We're gone. We're, we're gone. Hey! This is delicious!